Okay. So let's we continue as Dini. So any questions regarding the yesterday's class? If anybody having any queries, they can ask. Yes. First stage of a river, upper course. Upper course of river. First stage. Upper course. It is also known as upper course. Youthful stage of a river. Youthful, why? Because at this stage, river originates. River originates. River originates at this course, upper course, youthful stage through which the river originates. So what are the basic characteristics which are lies in a upper course are river carved, it developed as the narrow valleys, narrow valleys, narrow valleys. Second, less volume of water. Volume of water. Less volume of water. Less volume of water. Third, high gradient. High gradient means steep slopes steep slopes of slopes through which the river flows steep slopes through which river flows next river flow through the rocky surfaces rocky surfaces or undulating surfaces Undulating surfaces. Undulating surfaces. Wait. Rocky surfaces. Narrow valleys, less volume of water, high gradient steep slopes rocky undulating surfaces through which the river water has flow through which as the river water flow river engaged in a erosional work erosional work of a river erosional work of a river at its upper course at its upper course in upper course river Carved the erosional landforms. Clear? So, what kind of the landforms which are carved by, developed by the river in its upper course are first gorge. G O R G E. Gorge is also known as a I shaped valley. Gorge is also known as the I shaped valley. I shaped valley. Gorge is also known as the I shaped valley. It is developed by the river. Gorges are developed by the river in upper course when river water, river water river water fall vertically river water fall vertically on rocky surfaces rocky surfaces when a river flows through a mountainous region made up of hard rocks made up of hard rocks with little rainfall, most of the energy 
of the river is spent in downward cutting action downward cutting downward cutting which resulted the formation of a narrow valleys formation of narrow valleys with almost vertical walls vertical walls vertical walls the narrow steep sided valley is known as gorge the narrow steep sided valley is known as gorge example indus makes indus river it makes the gorge in attack attack this is as a place situated at indo pakistan border india pakistan border at a place of attack indus makes the gorge clear till there are any questions gorge formed by the indus river at a place of attack in jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir where the border shared by the india and pakistan when gorges are present when magnificent large size of gorge large size of gorges present in a single river system present in single river system is known as single river system is known as canyon is known as canyon when a gorges a large number of a gorges present in a single river system is known as the canyon example example grand canyon grand canyon uh, situated in a us on colorado river on colorado river grand canyon in us on colorado river colorado river in india example of a canyon on krishna river in andhra pradesh gangai konda krishna river krishna river in andhra pradesh that place is named as a gangai konda krishna in andhra pradesh makes as the canyon makes the canyon gangai konda clear till there any questions till there any questions yes next landform v shaped valleys 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 when when a river flows through a mountainous regions when a river flows through mountainous regions made up of relatively soft rocks relatively soft rocks with plenty of rainfall plenty of rainfall plenty of rainfall the sides or the sides or banks of the river 
sides or banks means their margins the margins of a river banks of the river are easily eroded are easily eroded and widened widened by increase in volume of the river water increase in volume of river water increase in volume of river water river water from time to time which resulted as formation of it resulted as formation of v shaped valleys showing on your screens v shaped valleys v shaped valleys example v shaped valleys example when two head streams of a ganga rishikesh when two head streams of ganga join together and forms as a ganga river at a rishikesh at a rishikesh rishikesh we can look towards as a ganga ganga is a more widen more widen comparatively the comparatively the day prayag as compared to the upper course when we are comparing as the alaknanda and the bhagirathi with the ganga when it has came into existence with the combination of a two head streams alaknanda and bhagirathi at rishikesh it is as the more valley more widen that widen valley is due to as the cutting their sides river cut its sides which resulted in the formation of a v shaped valleys ganga and rishikesh ganga in rishikesh byas in hamirpur byas in hamirpur district byas river in hamirpur district clear hamirpur district next landform carved by the river at its upper course as waterfall 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 water fall waterfall when the river river water river water waterfall when river water start to flow start to flow through vertical vertical ridges vertical edges of the rocky surfaces vertical edges of vertical edges of rocky surfaces rocky surfaces in which water falls down almost water falls down almost almost vertically from a vertically from a sufficient height along the course of the river which forms waterfall which forms waterfall which forms waterfall example jog falls j o g jog falls in karnataka jog falls in karnataka these are the highest waterfall of india highest waterfall of india highest waterfall in india it is a source of a kaveri river source of kaveri river 
Kaveri River waterfall. Is that clear? Till there, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Next is the second stage of a river. Second stage of river. Second stage of river. Second stage of river, which is the middle course. Middle course. Second stage of river as middle course. Middle course. Second stage, middle course, mature stage, mature stage of river, mature stage of river, mature stage of river. In this stage, suddenly, the volume of water, volume of water increases, volume of water, increase in a volume of water, second, low gradient, low gradient, low gradient, third, Depositional work, rivers, river which deposit the sediments in its course which resulted the landforms. River is a basically engaged in a depositional work, but there are the erosional landforms are also carved by the river. Erosional landforms carved by the river as meanders as meanders river basically as engaged in a depositional work it widened its valley widened its valley it also cut their base river cut its base river cut its base all such characteristics are associated with the middle course of river middle course of river the types of the landforms which are developed by the river in middle course are first u shaped valleys u shaped valleys u shaped valleys In upper course, we discuss as river makes as the V-shaped valleys. It's cut their sides, but not as a base. In high altitudinal areas, it cut their base. That's why as the gorges are formed in a upper course. But when river enters in a plains, it cut their valley sides as well as their base also. Their sides as well as base also through which the u shaped valleys are came into existence u shaped valleys are came into existence u shaped valleys when river when river leaves mountains when river leave mountainous regions mountainous regions mountainous regions and enters in plains enters in plains river leaves mountain low gradient means slope ritika slope 
लो ग्रेडियंट मीन्स जेंटल स्लोप ऑफ अ रीजन ढलान कम होती है इट्स नॉट एस अ वर्टिकल हाई ग्रेडियंट मीन्स वर्टिकल स्लोप ऑफ अ माउंटेन्स लो ग्रेडियंट मीन्स एज अ जेंटल स्लोप ऑफ अ रीजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रूफ ऑफ द रूफ ऑफ योर हाउस इट इज हैविंग एज द स्लोप बट दिस इज एज द जेंटल स्लोप वेयर द वॉटर हैज फ्लो एज स्लोली कंपेरेटिवली द comparatively the pipes pipes are the having as a steep sided steep sided slope so low gradient when river leaves mountains enters in plains suddenly their velocity velocity of river water decreases velocity of river water decreases velocity of river water decreases due to gentle slope due to low gradient or gentle slope gentle slope in that state the sediments present in river sediments present in river starts to cut their base cut their base cut their base and extend river bank and widen river bank widen river bank is known as u shaped valleys example when ganga enters in plains through the haridwar afterwards it starts to cut their base also that's why the ganga's width is a more in allahabad ganga's width is a more in allahabad when it has flowed through the bihar till as a west bengal till west bengal it widened its valley to erosion of its sides as well as their base sides as well as their base clear sides as well as base you can see the satluj on your state punjab in our state punjab satluj river when satluj leaves the mountains in a una district of himachal pradesh their width is a lesser but same satluj in a ludhiana it widen its valley it widen its valley during their in course when the river flow to the gentle slopes it cut their sides as well as their bases which resulted as the formation of u shaped valleys u shaped valleys clear u shaped valleys next alluvial fans second land form alluvial fans alluvial fans when they were river leaves mountains enters in plains due to sudden decrease in gradient decrease in gradient sudden decrease in gradient sudden decrease in gradient which resulted decline in velocity decline in velocity and the river drops river drops its sand gravel river drop sand gravel pebbles boulders pebbles boulders sand silt gravel pebbles boulders boulders nodules nodules at foot hills of mountains at foot hills of mountains foot hills of mountains at 
फुट हिल्स ऑफ माउंटेन्स विच आर रिजल्टेड एज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एलुवियल फैंस विच रिजल्टेड एज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एलुवियल फैंस एलुवियल फैंस एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल सतलुज when it leaves mountains enters in plains through the una district or bias leaves mountains and enters in plains through the pathan coat in pathan coat it deposit the heavy load of a gravels and a nodules such kind of the gravels pebbles which are deposited by the bias in pathan coat preferably used for a construction of roads such gravels are the smooth surface structure smooth surface rock structures which are becomes as a smooth due to the due to the collide with each other they becomes as the they be, they becomes as the smooth surface rocks so when they were leaves a mountain suddenly their velocity decreases decreases due to the low gradient river deposit the sediments at foot hills of mountains foot hills that part where the mountain ends and the plains begin foot hills of mountains it resulted as formation of alluvial fans which resulted as the formation of alluvial fans clear i'm um, again repeating as a u shaped valleys when they were leaves mountains enters in plains enters in plains suddenly their velocity decreases and they were cut their sides as well as their base they were cut their sides as well as their base their base with the erosion of the sides sides and the base of a river resulted as the formation of u shaped valleys which resulted as the formation of u shaped valleys clear jia formation of u shaped valleys any other question still there any other question any questions next type of a landform is the next type of landform is the meanders 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 when river when river flow through leveled surfaces when river flow through leveled surfaces it starts to flow according to the slope of a region it starts to flow according to the slope of a region slope of a region slope of a region under such circumstances river makes loop structures loop structures loop structures through erosion of through erosion of surface through erosion of surface rocks erosion of surface rocks known as meanders so at the mountains when the river leaves the mountains their looms it will be as a more widen till when it will be as a moving towards a lower course a lower gradient then the looms it will be as a circular looms will becomes as a more circular due to the forward erosion forward is a forward bend of a meander forward erosion and a backward deposition regular deposition in a backward areas and a forward as a erosion which leads the separation of a loop shaped water body loop shaped water body 
लूप शेप्ड वॉटर बॉडी लूप शेप वॉटर बॉडी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम लूप शेप्ड वॉटर बॉडी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम मेन कोर्स ऑफ रिवर इज नोन एज ऑक्सबो लेक दीज आर द ऑक्सबो लेक्स सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द मियांडर्स थ्रू फॉरवर्ड इरोजन एंड बैकवर्ड डेपोजिशन फॉरवर्ड इरोजन एंड बैकवर्ड डेपोजिशन फॉरवर्ड इरोजन एंड बैकवर्ड डेपोजिशन रिजल्ट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ loop structures such loop structures are known as the oxbow lake they are known as the oxbow lake oxbow lake clear till there any questions yes so this much for today rest we will continue on tomorrow yes any questions those who want to ask the question click to your cameras first yes anybody any queries related with the today's matter tomorrow we will continue as the middle course of a river middle course of river in which we will discuss regarding as a braided streams braided streams flood plains braided streams river and islands flood plains flood plains today is not the turn of a ninth class i think this week is your history test